This is the fifth and final section of chapter three on representations of data. And this section is about comparing data. So if you ask to compare two sets of data, then you must compare a measure of location and a measure of spread. So for example, measures of location, uh, mean, median, mode, there, measures of central tendency, that's a measure of location, a quartile or a percentile. For a measure of spread, you could use the interquartile range, interpercentile range, variance, um, or standard deviation. Now, you shouldn't use these together. So the median and the standard deviation, they shouldn't be used together when you're making a comparison, or the mean and the interquartile range, they shouldn't be used together when making a comparison. And you may find your data contains extreme values. If it does, then it's best to use the median and the interquartile range as your ways of comparing the two sets of data, because both the median and the interquartile range will exclude any extreme values. Example seven. From the large data set, the daily mean temperature during August 2015 is recorded at Heathrow and Leeming. For Heathrow, sum of x is 562.0 and sum of x squared is 10,301.2. Part A of this question is asking us to calculate the mean and the standard deviation for Heathrow. Right, so let's write down what we've got. So we've got the sum of x, 562.0. We've got the sum of x squared, which is 10,301.2. What's missing is n. Now, how are we going to find n? Um, it was the daily mean temperature during August 2015. Um, so if it's daily and it's August, there are 31 days in August. So n is 31. Right, so let's start by calculating the mean x bar, which is going to be the sum of x over n. So that's going to be 562.0 divided by 31. And I get 18.1209. Like that, I'll write down a rounded answer at the end. Now for my standard deviation, that's going to be the square root of the sum of x squared over n minus the sum of x over n squared. Right, so that's going to be the square root of 10,301.2 over 31 minus the mean squared. Now, this is the mean. I'm going to use this rather than that number there. So 562.0 over 31 and that needs to be squared. So let's work out what that gives us. So that is 1.9065. So I'm gonna give both my answers to three significant figures. So the mean is going to be equal to 18.1. That's three significant figures. And the standard deviation that's going to be equal to 1.91. Again, that's two, three significant figures. So now on to part B. And it says for Leeming, the mean temperature was 15.6 with a standard deviation of 2.01. Compare the data for the two locations using the information given. So we're going to compare a measure of location. So we're going to compare the mean and a measure of spread and that's going to be the standard deviation. So if we look at the mean temperature, we can see that the mean temperature for Heathrow was higher. And we could also say that the standard deviation of the temperatures was lower in Heathrow than it was in Leeming. Now you could also write these sentences like the other way around. So the mean temperature was lower in Leeming. And sometimes in these questions, they might ask you about, from your knowledge of the large data set, explain why this is 
the case. So you need to know something about where the locations of Heathrow and Leeming are. Leeming is up in Yorkshire. It's going to be cooler. So that might explain the lower mean temperature. Heathrow is in the south. Um, it's near an airport. There's lots of runways there. Black tar might absorb heat and it's often warmer there because of that. And you've got a slightly lower standard deviation, not a great deal, but this is probably telling you something about the temperature difference between different days in Heathrow. It seems more consistent in temperature at Heathrow than it does in Leeming. Again, that's probably something to do with its location and the uh, changeable weather that they may have in Leeming as opposed to somewhere like Heathrow. So you should now be able to exercise 3E on pages 53 to 54 of the textbook.